In this video, we will see a demonstration of how to create a chart to deploy the Spring Boot RESTful API. I will switch to the terminal in a moment, but while writing the chart, I will deliberately add a couple of bugs so that we also see how to debug the chart. Let's begin by creating the directory for the chart. We call it Spring Boot API HAM. We cd into it and create a first file called chart.yaml. This file contains the information about the chart. The name contains the name of the chart. Version is the version of this chart. App version is the version of the application that is deployed via this chart. We have the API version, a short description, the source for the application, and the list of maintainers. Next file is values.yaml. This will contain the configuration information for the deployment. We start by creating the root deployment object and then add configuration for the label, replicas, image ID, image version, pull policy. We set the default pull policy to if not present, which means the image is downloaded if it is not present. We also create the root object for service which provides the value for the label and the node port which is the port on which the service is available outside the cluster. We will also create a readme.md file which is an optional file that provides information about the chart. We do not have a dependency so we do not need to create the requirements.yml or the charts folder. We will however need the template folder so let's create that next. The first file we create is called underscore helper.tpl file. Remember how we can create nested templates, that is name templates that can be included in other templates? We will use the helper file. We will use the helper file to create templates for the name of the release and the chart name. Such that it is DNS compliant since Kubernetes uses the name as part of DNS. We define api.name as containing the name of the chart, truncated to 63 characters, and dash at the end removed. We also define api.fullName as containing the name of the release. We will use these templates later on. A chart will contain a deployment and a service. Let's create the deployment first. This file is similar to what we have written earlier, but we will replace the names from the configuration file or the helper template. We get the name of the deployment from the api.fullName template that we defined earlier. We also template the label values, replicas, pod metadata, and specification and container specification. The next file is services.yml and here too we template most of the things. The last file that we'll write is nodes.txt. This is the file that the ham installer shows after the installation is successful. It can use templated values too. We write the command to test the service endpoint and to scale it using the upgrade command. Let's see how the file structure looks. That looks good. Before we run the installation, we can use the ham lint command to check the charts. This says that there are two errors in a chart. The first is that the chart name does not match the directory name. And second, there seems to be some problem in the helper.tpl file. We need to fix the errors. We first change the directory name and then open the helper file and see what the error is in the first line. Looks like there is an extra space. We correct that and run lint again. This looks good now. Before we run the install, we can do a dry run and check if the generated manifest looks okay. Looks fine. We will now attempt to install it and if everything is fine, we should see the message from nodes.txt. Oops, looks like something is wrong in the service.yml file. Let's open it up and write the missing line. That should fix it. We try the install again now. Hmm, 
Looks like I had installed it earlier. To delete a release, we use the del command and try the install one more time. Awesome. Looks like it worked this time. We can also see a text from nodes.txt. We should test the service. We curl to the service and we do get back the expected response. So the install seems to have worked fine. This finishes our demo on using the hem client for deployment. I hope you have been able to follow the steps as well. The source code is available on the course code GitHub page. If you have been able to successfully do the installation yourself, please take a moment to congratulate yourself. If you're hungry for more, the next section is dedicated to networking and includes concepts such as services and ingress. See you in the next video.